Okay, here's how to play track 11 from Blunderbuss. It's called I Guess I Should Go to Sleep. So first pull up this chord chart. Um, it's very helpful. And the intro, you're going to need to put your middle finger on 7 on the G string. So here we go. So middle finger's here. So what you do is you go, you can either do single notes, so seven, six, seven, eight, six, five. And the guy who made this chord chart has this. This is D, F, F sharp, G, B flat, A. Really what they're doing though is triplets. It's just super hard to play it that fast. Like so I was trying to do it by moving these two notes up to here. You can kind of get it. It starts to sound kind of stupid, so I think it sounds better to go. Even though it would be nice to do the triplets. You could maybe do it like this. So seven. This is F. So D F is the tenth fret. F sharp seven eight. And then you can stretch your pinky over here to eleven. B flat A. Still sounds kind of stupid though. So you do this though. Four times. Then you go to like a bass part. The chord chart had this a little wrong. It's actually D, 5, 5, 7, 7, E. And then you can go to F right here, 3. And then 5th fret, G, and then A. Then you just need to know some basic chords for this song. It's only... You need to know D, A major. So D is 0, 2, 3, 2. And starting on the D string. A is zero two 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 zero. And you do that, and then back to D. Now I don't play the D seven. I don't really hear it. You could if you want. D seven zero two one three. I just stay on D. And then it goes G. It's a quick G, two strums. And E major, so G is three two zero 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 three. E is zero two two one zero zero. And then A and D. So it should look like this. A, A, D. Stay on E. G, E, A. And then there's one more part um, later there's a C chord that jumps in actually there's also see if you scroll down to where it says well upstairs so it's going to do the intro upstairs is that you just set then it goes A major D G C And it's going to go, does the interlude. So you got to like play along for the chord, for the changes. Um, but there's one more part in the interlude where it's going to go. So it's kind of like, it's a Beatles song that did that. So I like to, when I'm doing this descending D stuff, I don't hear this. What, what I do is put my pinky on D, middle finger on A, and you hit the D string first. Then third finger on C, first finger on B, and then A. So 
So that's the whole song. Um, really, you just gotta play along to get the chord changes, like the feel. So watch out for that C chord that just kind of pops in at one point. Um, and then the intro is once you know what the notes are, it's pretty easy. Um, if you could do triplets real fast, it would sound cool. But it starts to sound kind of stupid if you can't keep keep them all constant. So. Um, I've been doing songs lessons for this whole album, so if you want, check out that playlist. And my favorite song, my favorite songs so far were Freedom at 21 and um, Hippopotamus Poor Boy. I'm Shaking is pretty cool. Um, the first three tracks are definitely more like White Stripes, like classic tracks, and then it's getting a little more like kind of smooth, smoothed out on these later tracks, but still, still good stuff. So. Be curious what other people's favorites are. And if you need help with this track or, some, or another one, let me know. Alright, bye.